The speaker in this poem is on a boat ride with three children and he is telling them a story. The speaker is the poet and he is telling the children about a wonderland. He soon realizes that as the seasons are changing, the kids are growing up and will soon to be old for his stories and his mood quickly change. When he talks about Alice, he is referring to the girl who he later uses in one of his most famous writings, Alice Adventures in Wonderland. Boat beneath a sunny sky, lingering onward dreamily in an evening of July. The first stanza describes a boat on the water and a very warm sunny day that is just drifting away, not going anywhere in particular. Children three that nestle near eager eye and winning ear please a simple tale to hear the second stanza describes three children that want the poet to tell them a story as they are all on the boat together long has spilled that sunny sky echoes fade and memories die autumn frost have slain your life in this stanza, the poet is talking about how the warm sunny days are fading away and autumn has replaced summer. Still, she hands me, phantom-wise, Alice moving under skies, never seen by waking eyes. This stanza is talking about Alice. One of the girls in the boat with Carol. And when it says, Still she hunts me, the poet is referring to the memories of Alice that he still has, but he never sees her anymore. Hence, never seen by waking eyes. Children yet that tale to hear, eager eye. Lovingly shall nestle near. In this stanza, the poet is now talking about how the children have not forgotten him. The children still want to hear his stories and cannot wait to see him again. In a wonderland, they lie, dreaming as the days go by, dreaming. The summers die. The sixth stanza talks about how the children are in a dream world and how they are constantly fantasizing about summer. Ever drifting down the stream, lingering in the golden gleam, life, what is it but a dream? In the last stanza of the poem, Carl refers back to the boat and how he will never forget the time that he shared with the children on the boat. In the last line, he is asking if life is a dream because eventually all you have is memories. A boat beneath a sunny sky by Louise Carroll, a boat beneath a sunny sky, lingering onward dreamily in an evening of July. Children three that whistle near, eager eye and willing ear, pleased a simple tale to hear. Long has failed that sunny sky, echoes fade and memories die. 
autumn frost hustling July. Still, she hands me phantom wise, Alice moving under skies, never seen my waking eyes. Children yet, the tale to hear, eager eye and willing ear, lovingly shall nestle near. In a wonderland they lie, dreaming as the day goes by, dreaming as the summers die.